Hi, my name is Dr. Marcus Spry. I'm a private dentist in Maidstone in Kent in uh, the United Kingdom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. What we're going to talk about today is dental x-rays. Um, why we need them, the benefits, the risks. Um, there isn't a situation in life, probably, where something can be said to be 100% risk-free. And certainly that is the case uh, that it isn't 100% risk-free having any x-ray procedure. But we need to do what's called a risk-benefit analysis of this. And the risk is very low for a routine dental x-ray and the benefit is very high. So I definitely would recommend that patients accept that they have a dental x-ray. It's always your decision about whether you have a, an x-ray or not if it's suggested. But I would on the benefit the basis accept it because the risk is so low. For one x-ray there is a risk of something like in the region of one in five million that something might happen as a result of that dental x-ray. So you know there's a considerable chance that everything's going to be fine having uh, a small number of dental x-rays. Okay so why would a dentist suggest it? Well the problem is is that the hard tissue of the tooth isn't very easy to examine, especially in the, in the molar, in the back tooth region. And as a result, if you imagine my two uh, hands were teeth, where those teeth touch together, you can get a cavity here, which is obscured by the next door tooth. And this cavity may not have given you any aches or pains or any problems, uh, but it's there. And then suddenly, Later on, you're getting toothache, you're having to have a big filling, you're maybe even losing the tooth. So what dentists do, probably on a two yearly basis, is they take a small set of x-rays which are called bite wings. The reason is, is that you bite together and the x-ray forms a sort of little wing coming out where you we bite onto. And then the x-rays come in from the side, so we get the top teeth and the bottom teeth on the one x-ray view. And it will look through the enamel and the dentine, the interior structures of the tooth, and if there's a hole, more x-rays will pass through that hole, so it will look different on the x-ray than if there isn't a hole. So the dentist is able to see dark patches, and if there are dark patches, then they may well suggest that you need to have a filling. Fingers crossed you don't need one, but it's better to find out about it early and have it treated than to leave it until it's giving you toothache or, or it's a big problem. So that's one reason why we would take x-rays. The other reason is, is that we need to make an assessment of the gum condition. When you have gum disease, it can also affect the dental bone. So that needs to be checked. Obviously, you can't see what the bone level is by just looking at a patient. So x-rays may be necessary for that. And also uh, dental disease. If you came in with a toothache, um, if there's an infection on the top of the tooth, that will show up as a dark area and uh, that will exactly tell the dentist which tooth to treat. So it can be very, very helpful diagnostically. And also, finally, there is an x-ray that we can do that rotates around a patient. It's called an orthopantomograph. And that will give us the full Monty of all of your teeth and that's very useful to check for uh, dental disease and also is very useful to check if you're going to have uh, orthodontics or some other procedure done that everything is healthy before we start. It's like a school group photo of all your teeth. Okay now all of this will mean that you keep your teeth and you have a healthy happy smile for life. Thanks for listening. And if you would like to uh, like, share or subscribe my uh, YouTube channel, please do so down here. And also there's a little bell, which if you click that, then you'll get notification of my next video release. Thanks for listening.